Welcome to Hammer.com, Forfeit.com, uh, Ithaca here, and we have yet another update on where we stand on the war machine project. Okay, so uh, let's go over here to this little mess pile right here on all my work tables here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, so let me move this. Da, da, da. Okay. All right, check this out. You look familiar? This half an SMG collapsed, mounted to the gauntlet. Now, let's see if I can get it amongst all this mess here. You can tell I've been really busting my butt on this stuff, but um, you can see the there's the hand plate uh, that goes over top to protect and the rest of the crazy the rest of the weapon itself all right um, we took the, we mounted it because it, it, there's like some uh, there's another piece of um, louvre or something like that that was there we we took that off and replaced it with this now this is the right gauntlet without the mag so it needs to be changed and then you have the left side uh, with the mag. Alright, same concept on this one as well. Um, we also did reinforce this entire inside with um, Rondo because it was just uh, resin. We also cut the back open of this box right here and filled it in with Rondo as well so when I screwed into the side of this it would actually stay solid. Um, and I also trimmed this entire inside here so that way the shoulder doesn't hit the uh, gauntlet as much. So the gauntlets are done. Um, I have to put padding in them, uh, adjust them to my arms, but uh, there's the front right there. Um, so they're, they're sturdy, they're ready to go. Now, you also seen some of this stuff over here before. I uh, wanted to put out that I now have the COD for War Machine. Uh, the COD for War Machine, if it looks kind of familiar, it is a cut down uh, muckle. Uh, not a muckle, God. Halo uh, COD. Um, we trimmed the whole top off, trimmed the whole bottom off, cut the sides in and square it off. Uh, cut these straight down, we used Rondo, filled it in, filled in all the detail that was cut into it with Rondo, all the high detail we cut off, um, and it becomes your basic, generic, uh, low detail, of course, because I don't know why, but he is, his cod, it's Iron Man, or War Machine cod. So there's the front. The back, uh, it's going to work, but the back, <laughs> look familiar? I am going to stick with the standard Halo butt plate. The only difference between the Halo butt plate and the War Machine butt plate is the War Machine butt plate lacks all this detail. So I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like filling this in, sanding that down, filling that in. You know what I'm saying? And then taking this big chunk and sanding this big chunk off. So I was like, okay, so what? War Machine's going to have a little bit of detail to his ass. All right. Um, Although the whole top section is cut off, uh, all that detail is cut off already, and these are narrowed down uh, to match up with the front cod. Uh, there are no side pouches, of course, for a war machine, but so there's the cod for war machine, which replaces the old cod, but I did like all the little gadgetry on it. But So we still have this in play. My wife wants it. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing with it. Um, Last but not least, we showed this off before. It's a little dark here, but this is the uh, arc reactor. And uh, I ended up hooking up it, um, on the back side of this. You see that tinfoil there. The tinfoil is reflected back up in. I bought one of these. Hold on one second. So I can tell you exactly what I bought. Uh, Lex light. 
It's my trash can outside where I was working. It's a 12 volt um, with a, it's a uh, 15 inch LED flex light. All right, um, and that's what it looks like right there. And what I did with it is it's got a little push button, which is right here. This is your sample for in the store. Yeah, my hands are all full of paint and plastic. Look at those. This is your sample toggle, but you can only push it down and hold it and release. So it's got a little box to convert. There's your little battery pack and the converter right there. And then this was hooked up to that. And all I did is I replaced that with a small uh, switch that uh, John actually had in his uh, war machine helmet he sent down. And um, push it. And there you go. There's a war machine uh, arc reactor. Uh, once I get this finished and I get all the straps uh, cut the way I want and everything buckled in, then I'll go ahead and I will mount this inside uh, along with the switch. I will hot glue in somewhere. So there you go. And all I did is I ran it in a, in a spiral. Let me turn this back on. Uh, on the back side of this, I ran it in a spiral manner starting on the outside all the way around. And then the exit started going inward to this ring all the way around. And then I took a piece of cardboard, put tinfoil around it, and then hot glued it to help reflect the light back up from the back side. So that white edge right there is the actual uh, is the actual uh, lighting system. But it's good enough for me. Um, War Machine is definitely coming along. I got a lot of videos to update, so until next time, it's kind of late, time to relax a little bit. Uh, everything's, everything's done except for the strapping. So I'm going to take a break for a night. I'm going to go to bed. Um, remember, if we can do it, so can you.